Okay, so I had a dream last night. Um, something similar to this. I was lost in a city I didn't know. We were taken to what was like a fairgrounds. And there were massive people there. And I had to go to another city for whatever reason, and this person gave me a ride, and it comes to find out that it was an acquaintance from so long ago, because I visited and was part of many of the churches in my city. I know almost all the so-called professing Christians in my area, because they all hop from church to church, right, you know? But anyway, so this guy drops me off at this building similar to this and everybody's hanging out and what I experienced was from the church quote unquote church people because of the Beetlejuice and my refusal the Christians turned on me. And I remember crying and crying and crying. They treated me less than the dog turd. It was the Christians that complied that were the most heinous. It was the Christians that I knew and that I had had fellowship with and loved. And they had been my friends, you know. They all turned into Judas, and I can't describe the feeling of betrayal as they ostracized and, and, and turned, on, um, turned on me. I felt abandoned, forsaken. None of them would help me. None of them would help me. I ended up having to walk miles and miles. I couldn't get to my... My car was is left like hundreds of miles away and I was walking and finally two people uh, picked me up and then um, gave me a ride. But I was so traumatized by the experience that I realized in my dream that many will fall away and there's so many divisions right now. Within the church, and uh, I had this dream, and I always share my dreams with uh, a couple of people. One being uh, a person who's been following me for a long time, and she's also a nurse, and she shared with me that in her own family, all of her friends, that are angry with her because of her belief of how serious this Beetlejuice is, have forsaken her, have ostracized her, and literally, I think I was crying in my dream, feeling her pain as, as they rejected her. I look up here. The United Nations flag. Huh. How ironic. Next part of the dream I saw people starving and um, they were drinking muddy water. It looked like watered down Coca-Cola. They were scourging for food. It was they were all on top of each other and like animals. It was like the it was like the movie The Lord of the Flies. And um they were violent and, and there was no food and they were they were recycling things and digging through trash and there was outbreaks of diseases and and uh, it was like everybody was homeless <sighs> everyone was homeless and being moved and running and 
on the streets. Everybody seemed to be, everyone was on the streets. They were all homeless. And um, I was walking through that scene and I was just, just horrifying because I literally saw, I've seen it before in dreams, but I literally saw cannibalism. Yep, it was in graphic. Have you ever seen a hyenas fight over a, a carcass? Have you ever seen vultures pick, pick the bones off of a dead carcass? I'm telling you, remember the story of Jesus when he went into the tombs and, and the young man was cutting himself and crying out and they chained him and he'd break the chains? He was hanging out in the tombs because that's where he get his next meal, bro. I'm sorry. That sounds terrible, but that's the truth. And Legion has been unleashed upon the land. And I'm going to tell you why I'm saying that is the next part of the dream. Something very evil this way comes. And um, Eric was... Eric D... Hail was in my dream and he was warning me, don't give up, Christian. Repent of your sins. Keep on moving. Get up. If you fell down, get back up. Come on, come on. I got to show you what's coming. I got to show you what's coming. And he showed me heaven. He pointed up to heaven. And I'll show you the, what, what he showed me. Genesis 1, 6-8. I'm doing this on the fly, so, you know, my recording skills aren't too great, but I'm going to do this anyway. It talks about the firmament and the dome and the sea of glass. Well, I saw it in my dream. This doesn't hold a candle to it. I saw the throne of God. Eric said, look, look, and he showed me the sea of glass that is around the throne of God. And God can look down through that sea of glass right onto the earth and see everything magnified, every detail of everything going on. God is omnipresent anyway. But that's what I saw. And Eric said, look, look. Look what's coming. And he turned to his right. He pointed to his right, which I don't know where he is in Sacramento, but to me, he pointed to the ocean and he said, look, look, and there was a massive tsunami, a massive tsunami. And at the same time, there was a gigantic volcano erupting, a massive a volcano erupting right in front of that tsunami. Which I didn't understand. Is that what causes the tsunami? This thing was massive and it wasn't spewing fire this is symbolic. It was spewing out black worms. I know this is symbolic, but black worms and they filled the sea shore like ants. It was like the larvae of black serpents. And to me, it was Revelations 9. And they were in everything. There was... Then I dreamt there was worms in everything. There were worms in everything. People were eating their food and there was worms in everything. And this guy was eating peanut butter and he's like, oh my gosh, there's worm eggs in this. So to me, it is and it isn't symbolic. But it was so terrible, I woke up crying. I woke up crying. The tsunami. Probably going to get a copyright strike. I'll leave the link. This is for entertainment purposes only. I, I don't know. I don't want to get a copyright, so I keep breaking it up. Here's Eric's dream to a T. Everybody partying in the park. Little didn't know what was coming.
It's going to be too late. I can't find the original Tsunami Dream, but <clears throat> this one goes right along with it, and I posted it on my original channel, and you can read that like a Trojan horse riding in as a hero. Will the UN actually set us up? for an attack on America during internal crisis. A storm of dread you cannot outrun. Jesus is waiting for you. Get under his protective covering, the covering of his covenant. It's a free gift. Jesus died for our sins upon the cross. We all have sinned. We were born into sin. Jesus is the second Adam. He came to redeem us from the curse of death. An eternal separation from God. Surrender your life today. This is not about religion. It's about a relationship with the Lord of Lords, the Holy Lamb of God, the soon and coming King. And I put some links because what I saw was a gigantic, it looked like a mountain crashing into the ocean, a massive tsunami, major earthquakes. I stood on what looked like the Appalachian Mountains and I posted it and I turned and the Tetons were breaking off and falling into uh, the lake and, and the ground was cracking underneath my feet and water was coming up. And then I saw anarchy in the streets and cities burning. And I heard nothing but sirens and, and sirens, air raid sirens and people running to and fro. Violence. I dreamt that uh, they were fighting out in front of my house and people were shooting each other in the head. And they were fighting over food and water. And they were just killing each other over food and water, um, just to survive. People lost it. And then I saw what looked like covens rising up throughout the nation and cannibalism. And it was just similar to any kind of horror movie you've seen from Hollywood. Um, people on the streets, people eating each other, War. I saw the Antichrist rise up out of Europe and that area, and um, he was hunting Christians. They were hunting Christians. I saw Russia, China, and other nations come in and invade our nation, but meet with the ones that were already here. It was a full-out blitz, like it's, there's no movie that can describe what I saw, and that was in 2018, and I posted it over and over again. A song I wrote about the tsunami I saw. Raids on the coast <clears throat> through our borderline. I saved it to my PC. In 2020, anarchy as the Antichrist rises. The eagle has fallen. This was eagle has fallen. The battle of the eagle and the python in real time. Um, I knew I was getting a word from God. So here we are. do something that snake is going to swallow up the seed and it's going through the land it's still doing through the land it's now it's big it's it's so big it's just like reaching across the america it's like a large gigantic python and it's going through the cities and it's going through the towns and it's swallowing up the seed 
and it's an ominous threat to our nation. And I see this mighty eagle, and she's like, I've got to go down there. So she, she doesn't know. If she, she knows she's not a match for the sake of sk- She's probably going to die trying to take. But she's down there because she doesn't want it to eat up the seed of promise. And maybe it was, maybe it was her eggs, America's seed of promise. And so she was pecking at it trying to lure it away and fighting with it and fighting with it and her wings were flapping and she pecked it and she fought in a, a great battle with the snake and she fought valiantly and she she couldn't win and it <laughs> it crushed her it crushed her And now it was eating her. It swallowed her. And it grew bigger. And I saw the snake and it wrapped. And it was as long as our nation is. And it was large and thick. And I saw the snake headed towards the west coast. And I saw the head of it. It was devouring people as it went, and then it wrapped itself, I mean, like, oh, like, America was like a tree branch, and it wrapped itself, and it went up and around the West Coast first, and its tail was across all the way down to Florida, and it went underneath and began to wrap, and as it went, headed westward, and slithered and went to the west and began to wrap itself around California, wrapping itself around America in a uh, uh, wrapping itself around America like Canada wasn't there, okay? And it was just like it was wrapping itself around a tree branch, which is the Americas. Not Canada. I did not see Canada. I'm not saying that, but it was a gigantic snake. And it wrapped itself around California and then went and coiled itself back around and headed towards the east. So that now it was completely coiled and it began to squeeze. And as it squeezed, I saw its contractions, its muscles, and things were being crushed. Crushed. suffocating and being squeezed to death being squeezed to death and it mocked and it mocked and it's like I saw airplanes and different airplanes trying to shoot it down but it had grown too large and it could not be killed, and in fact, it crushed the United States of America. It crushed the United States of America. And I saw blood pouring out. As it crushed the United States, like a boa constrictor, I saw the ground give way and upheaval, and people were running to and fro and trying to take cover. And then I saw it was like it was squeezing the blood that was in our nation, out. We're in serious trouble. We're in serious trouble. People of God, we are in serious trouble. I tried to show this so many times. There's some things that, that are written in there that they don't like me to say on YouTube. It's posted on my shorts. So far, a lot of these things have happened. I saw that Python New World Order. <laughs>